Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and welcome to your daily guided message. If you are new to this channel and feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so that you can be notified of all future updates. Just a reminder, this is a general reading, meaning it's not going to resonate with every single soul. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Always utilize your own intuition. If you want something more private and personable, go in the description box below. All of my information is there to book a private reading. Guys, we're gonna start off with some oracle cards, and then we're gonna get into the tarot spread, and then I'm gonna pull some alchem cards with a healing card for you today, okay? Time is fluid. I'm trying not to state the days anymore or anything like that because people get hooked on it's going to happen today. So, I, you know, it's just, it just doesn't work that way. So, um, you yeah, know, just keep that in mind. And don't forget to go ahead and peruse the daily list. These are a new format that I am doing versus my old format, which was three different spreads, but they were shorter. This is a longer one. It's just a focused one, focusing the energy on what comes out. Okay, so here we go. Let's get started. Let's see what we have here. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascended masters as to what messages that we need to hear. What do we need to know on today's energy? Ooh. The flower spirit. The flower spirit is here. With a 10. So something is in completion today. This is, this is about evolving. This is about being content. Many of you, this is a new start. But do you see how she's holding on to the flower? So this, this to me, there's something, and this flower is red. So there's some kind of passion here. Let's see what the angel answer cards have to say. Let's see. Ooh, this just flew out. It's up to you. It's up to you. This is a passion. This feels like that, I feel for many of you, it's about looking within, taking the time to of rest and reflect and really knowing that you've evolved. I'm hearing many of you are at the point right now that you have felt that you have evolved. This feels a lot like um, you know, the last daily that I did where it was almost about reflection. This is about opening up. I love how the angel is pointing, like it's up to you, right? So there is, your ancestors, your guides, your angels are here. They're, they're really, they're really cheering you on. I feel for a lot of you, you, you are getting a lot of downloads. This is about security, safety. Because a 10 is, is at the completion of trying, is like literally being right there, okay? But let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Let's see what, what other messages would we have on this flower spirit. It's enough to you. What else do we need to know about the daily message? Here we go. Whew, the 10 of wands. Another 10 here. The wheel of the year. Queen of cups. Ace of Cups, Five of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Knight of Wands Reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles Reversed. Overall energy here is, ready for this guys? Chariot, coming in quickly. This is all about movement, action. Some of you are taking action on leaving something and allowing it now to progress on yourself, okay? Here, you might actually be coming up to, with messages. Others of you, this is about taking, it's about letting go and, and letting something new in, okay? Now, Ten of Wands, starting off here. The burdens, right? Feeling like you're carrying all of the weight here. You might be dealing with a fire sign or you might be a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But do you notice how they're facing here a castle? I feel for many of you, you're facing a home front, facing the burdens. I'm hearing many of you are facing the burdens of a home front. The securities that you have here, there's changes here. Many of you have been stuck in this energy of not being able to move forward for quite some time here, okay? Some of you, this could have taken over a year. 
We have the Queen of Cups here, all about emotional. But do, here's what's interesting. She's got the cup in front of her, right? On the ocean, looking out. The ocean is vast. It comes. It's all about emotions, in and out, waves, right? Comes and flows. I feel for many of you, you've released your emotions. Realize that you have a cup. I love how you have the Ace of Cups right go, going straight into this, and we'll discuss this in a second. But right now, I want to focus on this. I do feel for some of you, you have expressed yourself wanting to move forward and away from something. But there's a task here of getting through. Like, I feel for a lot of you, you're dealing with either family or it's more than one individual that is in part of this environment that's been very burdensome, okay? That's what I'm hearing, burdensome, all right? But we have the Ace of Cups here right below this Ten of Wands. So you're moving through this to get towards this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is all about self-love, too. Filling your cup. Many of you are just like, I'm filling my own cup now. I don't have time to be in this drama of the five... Five of Wands. I do feel a lot of you are dealing with a fire sign here. So not wanting to deal with the battles, the commotion, things that no longer served you. Fighting. You've been working really hard on this. Now, typically the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy here, it's about working together, right? Making progress. But in this particular deck, and I love how they make, like, you know, when I choose decks and everything, I'm really guided to, to pick specific ones. But this one is about reflection. I think that a lot of you are taking stock of your life. Some of you are trying to move past or away from somebody. It's like, okay, what do I need to work on? What is enlightening me? I feel for a lot of you, you're going to be expressing yourself to somebody who has, who has, who's, like I said, who's been part of this commotion, who's made you feel stuck. It's like no, I don't. I don't want. I don't want to be stuck in this energy now, because because the King of Wands. This is this is somebody who is passionate, driven, takes action. This is reversed. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's extremely selfish. I feel like you're giving messages to this individual here. Um, you know, with the Eight of Wands, this is about. I, I, we'll see. We'll see what the outcome cards here. But I do feel that there is something coming in today about taking action. I feel like it's giving messages to another individual. I hear enough. I've had enough. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest knight of them all. Okay. <laughs> Stable offer. Going into the horizon could take forever. This is reverse. I, I just feel like you've waited a really long time to get um, a balance. Some of you, it's been, a, it's been a battle with finances. Some of you, it's like, I can't get stability here. Now, this is a general reading, so you know I, I don't wanna focus it on love, but this does feel very romantic in a sense that you've dealt with somebody for quite some long time. So this could be a spouse, this could be a long-term partnership. But I do feel like you're done waiting. This is reverse. It's like, I don't want anything to do with this. I, I, I need to fill my own cup. It's, it's, it's the evolving here. With the flower spirit, it's about evolving. This is about it's up to you, meaning it's up to you to take actions, not feeling stuck. Let's see what the outcome cards are. Um, I'm going to pull three outcome cards with a vice versa deck. I do not do reversals on here. So let's see what the outcome cards are on here in the spread. <clears throat> we need to know. I just feel a lot of you are taking actions today of making some kind of communication, showcasing, showcasing that you've evolved. You're passionate about this new beginning, this new start. Mm. We got the King of Pentacles here with the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> and interesting the devil so this does feel like a relationship that was toxic okay now the king of pentacles now he can come off as the father figure okay could be the one like it could be like even the father of your child or you know some of you but older all right but this is somebody who is practical this is somebody who brings security right but they're not 
definitely emotionally there, okay? And I feel when I'm looking at this card, because usually when I see it on this side, <clears throat> there's some kind of growth here, right? With a fruit in here when I see the daylight. But this is in the dark. And the energy that I'm feeling is that you've reflected a lot on this individual of what they brought to you. This relationship. The lack of communication. I feel like this individual does not is not able to express themselves in an emotional state and leaves you kind of emotionally empty. Again, they're showing me the toxicities here. Feeling bound to a situation. Capricorn energy here. But I feel for many of you, you're feeling this need to move on and expressing yourself today. It's like, I don't want to feel changed to this. I feel some of you, this has been toxicity and just no communication blockages, okay? I'm hearing that this individual did not is not changing for the better. And it's like, when you're at the... When you're at the Nine of Swords, you know, this is usually about anxiety here. Looking at the, like, when I see this cards on this side, okay, th there's light here, okay? You're reflecting on it. You're not looking at the light here. It's like, look at all this harsh communication and blockages that I've gotten with this individual. Um, look at all the toxicity this, this brings out in us. Both of you, on both sides here. Toxicity runs on both sides. It's not always just one person's fault. Even if you were with somebody who is toxic, you can still be toxic back to them because you're, you're in that vibration. You're in that lower vibration with them. But there's some kind of fast movement in here. And I feel for a lot of you, the passion, the desire you have that it's, you know, with spirit saying it's up to you is that you're moving forward and you're communicating to this individual no more. I've had enough. I'm going to pull one healing card for you. Perception. Perception. A nine. This person is opposite of you. This person is a mirror of you. They're showing you growth. And you're well aware of that. I think a lot of you have a lot of love for the fact of that this person giving you a lot of growth. Change. You know, but they're showing me three leaves here. So there could be children involved in this. Something's changing though. And I think the changing is the change that's coming you. And what's what's driving you, what you're passionate about. And this has been a long time coming for you. I feel for a lot of you, this is the long time coming for this involvement, this change. Being aware that this person is a part of you and will always be a part of you. But it doesn't necessarily mean you gotta stick to it. I think a lot of you are gonna be moving on. All right, guys, if this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.